I think my journey all began uh, in high school. Um, you know, attended Georgia Cumberland Academy for four years, graduated, and after graduation had an opportunity to work at Cahutta Springs Youth Camp. And uh, being at, at Cahutta kind of opened up my eyes to the calling of wanting to help young people just discover Jesus as their best friend. So I guess we'll start from the beginning where we met. We both <laughs> went to Southern Adventist University, Utah, um, and we just kind of met there, the traditional mm -hmm. love story, if you will, there. Um, <laughs> Mutual friends, <laughs> you know, yeah, and then yeah. started hanging out, so. Yeah. Um, got married, and kind of like he said, we eventually, we pastored at Bowman Hills for a couple of years, eventually went to Michigan, which was a fun adventure, and then um, got placed here at at Knoxville first. Yeah, I think for us, it's just been exciting just to kind of see the Lord leading in all these different stages of life. Um, I mean, we we were still dating by the time I started pastoring and just that transition from a couple in college to now full grown adults working and being involved in ministry and um, going from that to then getting married and experiencing ministry as a couple mm -hmm. and then going to a place where everything's just new to now being here uh, back at home in, in Knoxville and being, you know, expecting parents, just all these different places. We've just seen God's hand just kind of working and just kind of leading. And so. It's exciting. I think just because this has all been just one big journey um, and it's kind of cool when you meet like goal marks for mm -hmm. the journey. Um, so I think it's super exciting. I think it's super exciting that a ton of people get to come together and celebrate that. Uh, today is a, is a big day. It's a special day for me. I feel like it is um, almost a culmination of many prayers. When I was born, my, my paternal grandfather, my dad's dad, um, said this guy's gonna be a pastor. Like this kid's gonna grow up to be a pastor. And uh, unfortunately, he never got to see that reality. He passed away when I was young but it's something that I held on to, just thinking how my life went and knowing that he prayed over me many times and that those prayers never expired, even if he never saw that, that fulfillment. So today is, is a big day of, of just a lot of prayers, a lot of uh, relationships that were invested into my life, into our lives. And it's, it's just a big day where I get just to say, man, this is the coming together of many people that have just you know, loved on us. And so it's, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's emotional. It's just, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's crazy, but it's good. I remember getting to know Matt when he was a student at Georgia Cumberland Academy. I was interviewing him to work at Cuyahoga Springs Youth Camp. And it was easy to see right away that he had a big heart for God and that he wants to make a difference with his life. He did a great job working with those cabin units week by week and summer by summer until he was then hired as the village director, which demonstrates that he has leadership ability as well. You just have to love this guy, Matt. He always has such a radiant smile and you sense that Jesus abides in his heart. He got started with a spiritual bodybuilding uh, class that was offered for our teens over rest period. And we were so encouraged that teens were so passionate to learn more about God's word. And that became a stepping stone that led to Disciple Trek, which is happening now at many camps all across our country. Matt and Kat, may God just continue to shine brightly through you. God bless you on this uh, very special day. Happy ordination. I am Troy McDougall, and I was Matt's first head elder when Matt was our associate pastor. He was working at Cahutta Springs Youth Camp, and he was anxious about giving up his strong call to youth ministries but he also felt God was expanding his ministry. At Bowman Hills, he was a blessing to the children and youth of the church and school, in addition to learning how to do an adult pastoral ministry. We watched Matt grow from a nervous little speaker who had a hard time filling 20 minutes to a true pastor who made the word come alive. He made the Bible real to us. His preaching led you to a new understanding of the Bible. Matt, you are destined for a great work for the Lord. We are proud of you and honored to be a part of your ordination service. God bless you and Kat as you continue to work for him. Matt was uh, always coming to my office. We hit it off early and uh, had a great time discussing life and Jesus. And uh, early on, he felt a call to the ministry. I wanna say, Matt, I'm proud of you. 
I'm so glad that you are allowing God to use you. And the thing I love about you is you love God, you love people, and you love bringing the two together. So congratulations on this great milestone in ministry. May God continue to bless you as you seek and serve Him. What's on my mind is just saying thank you to everyone that's just played a part um, in my life personally, in our story as a couple, um, and who continue to play a special role, um, whether it's family, loved ones, friends, mentors, you name it, um, church members, mentoring pastors, you guys have all played a, a big, big role, and I just wanna say thank you for that.